Hello there everyone, Rob here from Trophy Twins and welcome back to a, another Assassin's Creed Mirage episode here on the channel. So today we're going to do is carry on straight on from where we left off uh, from the last video. So uh, basically we are playing as Basim, we're like a street thief, we've just stolen something from the Winter Palace here. Uh, and we've just basically made our run back to the hideout. We've met uh, Roshan, I think it was, who is part of the Assassin's Creed. And they've been basically trying to contact Basim for quite some time. And now we're, uh, we're, we're, we're trying to find um, Dervis and... I'm going to look at Coedex now, actually, and see... Citizens... Uh, Nihal, that's it. Nihal and Dervis, we're trying to find them. But, um, but where is she? Unless she's kind of fancy. No, enemies. No, what my enemies, what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, Roshan, that's it has been, um, is trying to help us escape, but basically what we're going to do is we need to try and find Nihal and Davis, so that's what we're going to do now, and other people, so, uh, yeah, let's just get, uh, cracking. So, currently, oh, hang on, I should probably go up and over. So we need to get over there. They might catch me, so I just want to, uh, I've not learned the dive yet. I'm assuming we learn the the classic assassin's dive. Okay, there's a friendly there. from the palace also that you can impress your cunning friends i saved us you killed them you did it this came from over there i hope i never see you again hurry all of them dead when it was me they sought to punish i i i cannot be here i cannot Sprint. Sprinting. Okay, so we need to go 125 meters this way. Okay. I am now anonymous. Oh, I was never making that. Okay, get back up there. Up there. You'll never catch this. You'll never. Oh god. I fell a little bit further than I expected. Come on. You can get up there, surely. No? Okay, you got the Master Thief of Ambar. Stop. 
Stop! Is it him? I think so. Yes. Good enough. Move. What are you doing? Don't think. Oh, this thing again. I recognize that, I believe... I think that's from the first Assassin's Creed game, because even some of the... I think it's Revelations. You do come here. A new day, another test. Alan bought two back. months later. So, well, my phone available. Return to training. Okay, so we are running a little bit more like an assassin now. But yeah, I, re I recognize the fortress type thing up there. so put yesterday out of your mind it has no bearing on today get dressed and we can begin Practice the leap like of faith. Practiced. Okay. Yes, you look strong today, Bassem. Keep training. Steady, Bassem. Steady. Lee. I've seen enough. We will try again tomorrow. I felt fine. I can see it in your body. You lose focus too easily. The leap of faith is a crucial step on your path to initiation. It is one of the Brotherhood's first and most sacred rites. To perform it successfully, you must first center your mind, body, and spirit. Embrace the fear, quiet it, find a stillness, and let go. Yes, Master. Let's return to the camp. Okay. May I ask you something? You may. Back in Anbar, at the palace, I witnessed a meeting between the Khalifa and five masked men, order members. The Khalifa was meant to protect the object they discovered, but he knew nothing of their plans for it. He did not even know them by name. How does the most powerful man in Baghdad bend such a fearful knee to the faceless? The Order has held dominion over such men and their empires for centuries by convincing them of their truth, that they are the natural arbiters of the world. The Khalifa was but their puppet, and the same will be true of whomever succeeds him. 
The entire Khalafa is under their influence. Basim, speak with Fulav and see if he needs help. We will continue your training later. Yes, Master. Find Fuda. Have you seen Mentor Rehan in camp? He is preparing to receive the Tahari emissary, Master. Thank you. Good day, Tepit. Hello, Basim. What troubles you? Truthfully, I am frustrated. The Order has only grown stronger in Baghdad since the death of the Khalifa, and we are stuck on this mountain. Mentor Raihan surely knows what he is doing. Maybe I should trust more. Have you seen Fulav? Probably at his office, as usual. Anyways, I must get back to work. Araka Lahikan. Okay. Let's go to his office. I can hear him. Oh, can I not climb that? Ah, what is this in the corner? Here. A small design. It is my signature. So you know I created this, and not Al Hassan, or worse, Abu Jafar. I just you understand, Wadan. Ah, Bassam, how are you? Yes, Enkidu, food is coming. He is intelligent, and intelligence is supposed to rhyme with patience. Reminds me of someone. Have you been speaking to Master Roshan? Have patience. Be kind to your progress. I will take this to heart. Roshan asked me to come see you. Ah, yes. Rebecca needs leather strips. Can you fetch those from the storeroom? I shall, Fulav. Araka lahekan. Okay, okay. Let's grab the leather strips. I'm guessing this is like a tutorial slash prologue sort of section. That is not it. It is hard to find anything in here. No, that is not a strip of leather. Okay, I'm not gonna read that, so if you wanna pause it and stuff, you can. The caliphate are beginning to put pressure on us. Forces? You mean the order, Raban? I can only speak of what I know, your Devi. The Caliph wishes to nullify the rebels, and if you persist in giving them support, we cannot assure you protection from any Caliphate response. The rebels supply us with information in Baghdad. Okay, he Without sounds them, very, blind. very similar to um. One of the mass agents. Showing that he can end this so I'm guessing there's an inside man. I do not doubt that. I came to warn you. Things are moving fast in Baghdad. You may have to act sooner than expected. I hear you, Arban. So that tavern, whatever it name was, sounds suspiciously like one of the masked ones that threatened the caliph. When he wants to so look inside the, the box. To govern these lands are the only things standing between Alamut and the full scale attack. A fragile piece. I mean, I may be looking. How long will it last? Too much into it, though. Oh, right. Went right through him. How does construction go? Uh, it is taking longer than we expected, Yasidi. That must be frustrating. Uh, Mentor Ryan is a wise man, but he speaks of this mountain as if it was destined that we build here. We have patience and follow his guidance. Master Roshan tells me I must not be in a hurry to rush back to Medina as Salam. I would not hurry at all. Baghdad is different now. It is very dangerous. Okay. Tamaman. 
Rebecca? Basim, Basim. Are you just wandering the camp aimlessly now? No. I have this leather for you. Will it do? Apparently, you've moved past the wooden swords. I protested, but Roshan insisted. Here is your dagger. And your sword. I am proud to have worked on them. This blade has character. Why would I make anything less than unique? I am in your debt. I was not expecting new weapons today. Repay me by using it on the Order. Make them feel the sharpness of its character. Roshan said you had further training today. Show her that new sword of got the throw and knife. I look forward to it. Speak with anyone to learn how to use throwing knives too. Well, I'm guessing in this one might be the home one. How does training go, Yasodiki? Nor showed me a new way to grip my knife, and it has improved my accuracy greatly. If you throw it just so, it sails through the air, swift and true. Shall I remind you how to use a knife? Right, so I got to R2. Ya Elahi, well done. Is anything just to Okay. Ah, you have inspired me to train harder. This is the way, Yasodi. Oh well then. Assalamu alaikum, ya sadiqi. Wa alaikum assalam. Did Fulab send you? No, he did not. You're not here to help move these rocks? I am quite sure that was not me. I do not mean to be rude, but I have no time to talk. I must figure this out. I will leave you to it then. Okay. Oh, good lord, nearly missed it. <laughs> good work. Until tomorrow. Basim, time for combat training. I was surprised when Rebecca handed me this. Is a sword not a coarse weapon for a hidden one? As hidden ones, we must become proficient with a number of weapons. You never know how a fight will escalate. Anyone can wield a sword, but how would you use it? I am here to learn that, Master. Are you truly here? Well, yes. I believe so. You are here in body, but are you here in mind and soul? Is this a riddle? No, it is the difference between life and death. Make sure you target and circle around me. Never turn your back on your opponent. Yes, better. Show me your quick stabs first. Okay. Good. Yes. I'm waiting for you. There are times when we must put more force into our attack to cause more damage. It will leave you exposed, so time it properly. Now go! 
That's it. Come in strong. Excellent. Now, for defense, you can parry the attacks of your opponent. After a few successful parries, your opponent will be stunned. Try to parry my attacks. Okay, I'll want to parry. Yes. That's good. Excellent. Some attacks cannot be parried and must be dodged instead. We're going to circle to roll, maybe? Okay. Good work. That's the way. Well done. Now, let us try a free fight together. Use what you've learned. That took me by surprise. Well done. Oh, wait. I need to dodge that. Okay. Okay, so I have stamina. Stop! I learned nothing from failing! True learning requires action and stillness in equal parts. You have made the action. Now, seek the stillness. Do not rush your training. Be patient. Failure is a part of progress. Think on these words and come back better. Yes, Master. I will. Good. See you later. Look at it. <laughs> Ahmed will soon go back to the House of Wisdom. I fear he may end in the middle of a snake's nest. I know how close you are to your brother. We shall learn more soon. Then we can act. Assalamu alaikum, Abu Jafar. It is Ahmed. Ahmed, my apologies. Do not worry. Come and warm yourself by the fire. Our brother Ahmad is leaving us tomorrow. To Baghdad, the House of Wisdom. The House of Wisdom? We have been working there, my brothers and I, for years. I still have some things to work on. Science waits for no one. And I will fulfill my duty as a hidden one by becoming your eyes and ears among the scholars. Ula. Tell Basim the story of the feather. Our tradition of the feather comes from Egypt. They represent the feathers of Ma'at. The feathers of the heron were dipped in the blood of the targets. These would be left for the lord of the Duat to judge. It is important we remain humble and know our place in the process. We are messengers of justice, and not the final judges. Will anyone help me on patrol tonight? I will come with you. I must get my body moving if I'm to warm up tonight. I am grateful. Let us go. Are you coming, Basim? I'm coming. Leave the stories for later. May I speak to you in confidence? You know me. I overheard Mentor Rayhan speaking to an emissary earlier. Mentor Rayhan asked if we may come under attack for dealing with rebels in Baghdad. Are we safe here at Alamut? I do not know. 
but I pity the people who attack this nest of eagles. How goes the watch? Nothing happening at all on Alamut, and I am so hungry. We did not make it to the main canyon. Excellent. We will start there. Thank you. Come, Noor. Follow me. Okay. Are you looking forward to your initiation? Yes. It feels like I have been preparing my whole life for this. I could not sleep the night before my ceremony. From excitement and a small bit of pain, if I am to be honest. We all fear the unknown. But a greater unknown awaits on the other side of initiation. You speak of the order. This is Mohja. Magnificent. Soon, you shall have one of your own. Fulav introduced me to an eagle named Enkidu. He said we have much in common, and not in a complimentary way. She sees something. Follow me. Find a place to hide. What is this place? We must be near. We have the element of surprise. Be ready. Stop. Uh, quickly. I am behind you. We must strike fast. Agreed. We must wait for the right moment. Oh god, did not mean to do that. The knockout came in. And then it didn't. Do not give up. Keep fighting. Remember your training. Okay, I didn't couldn't avoid that one. Oh god. Need to remember the barret. Ooh. Like the knockout came and then it just went off not as it like did it. The wooden targets, is it? It is not that. This sword. What of it? Mercenaries from Baghdad use these weapons. We must warn the others. <sighs> Mercenaries from Baghdad. How do you know? Basim recognized the make of the sword. I believe him. Bring him in. How do you know these men were from Baghdad? Growing up on its streets, I have seen their weapons many times. And closely. Behind every mercenary is a man who gave them their orders. Yes, and we must act if we are to learn who that is. We will return to Baghdad, seek Ali ibn Muhammad's help. Ah, oh, of course. Sahib is Zanj. He is a dangerous and delusional fool. Maybe so, but he is one of our only allies in Baghdad. We need him, and we need his men. I will go back to Baghdad. Go to Ali. Find out if the Order sent those men. I will. Wafakak Allah. Wafakak Allah. Wada'an. Araka lahiqan.
Ooh. I have a skill point. Okay, stealth. Fighting skills. So, auto collect. Loot an enemy automatically after stealth kill or assassination. Kick back. After a successful parry, press triangle to strike the parry enemy. Use. Okay, to strike in another direction. And what's this one? And and Kidu's view reveals keys and highlights opportunities like chests with a glow. Secret entrances are easier to discover. I I do want the uh, the auto loop. It just makes things easier. Okay. So we got all this in the codex. I don't. Okay, I'm one of these people who likes to get rid of all of these because it will it'll annoy me. Okay, got rid of that. If you like just random dots all over your thing. There's something wrong with it. <laughs> so I've got to remember to parry in this game as well. Okay, inventory. What have we got here? Okay, sword and dagger. A sword is held in the dominant hand and is your main source of damage. A dagger is held in the off hand and impacts the damage you deal to the enemy's defense when you parry. Okay, costume. Let's have a look. Train investments from Alamut. I can't look at that apparently. Okay. Okay, we looks like we got upgrades, so I need like ingots and leather, I'm assuming that is. And that one is again ingots. And leather. Oh dear. And then we got whatever merchant favour token. Scholar favorite token and power favorite token. Components, steel, ingot, leather. Okay, we've got 94 dirham. It's a throwing knife. Elixir, we've got none of that, so we need to grab some of that. I think we can restore for limited health, so we need to collect more food and stuff. But yeah, I can't go into that. that so that's going to annoy the hell out of me. So I'm guessing we do the classic leap of faith, eh? There we are. Assalamu alaikum. I must see Al Hassan. He awaits me. Okay, let's go in. How are you feeling on this auspicious day? It is strange, Al Hassan. My head is calmer than I believed it would be. I thought I would be a stormy sea inside. But I am calm and quiet. Because you have dedicated yourself to your training and left nothing to chance. Here, Bassam. You have earned this. It is a great honor. I suspect you understand that. Roshan and the others are waiting for me. Modan. And thank you, Al Hassan. Okay. Reach the caved entrance. I wish I could just take a look into the cave. This is a big day for him. How are you feeling? Ready to make the leap. I wish you to know it has been an honor to watch you walk your path. As a novice, and as a man. I am grateful to you for leading the way before me. I am honored. Come. Your new robes await. Nice. 
Ah, they suit you well. Come, it is time. Okay. How did you feel on that day so long ago? I felt afraid. <laughs> my palms were slick with sweat and my knees were shaking. Looks like we're being ceremonially placed as part of the assassin. I cannot imagine you being afraid. Allow me to share a secret with you on this important day. To have courage means to act in the midst of feeling great fear. Oh, it'll be his um, hidden blade in that package, I would say. Because all the fingers will be off as well. Are you ready to leave your life behind and walk the path of shadows? I am. Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? Ready to sacrifice everything you held close? I am. Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. Say your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Then, out of the dark, you will come into the light. And from the light, you will return to the dark. Oh. There's a Mibnis Hawk. You now follow in the Eagle's path. died and been reborn. Now, fight me as your equal. Okay. Oh, it's much quicker. Whoa. Letting your anger take over again. <laughs> Lose your focus again. Which one will I strike with next? My dagger or my sword? Oh god! You have trained me well, Roshan. How is that? Noor! Strain. Save your strength. He traveled unprepared. Left Baghdad in a hurry. Here. Drink. Uh, 
<laughs> Ali. He is gone. They took him in the night. They? The Order. Bring him to my tent. If Ali is gone, we are blind. The Order has put a fog over Baghdad and their movements. We must go to Baghdad. Mm. Roshan, Basim, go with Fuled. Leave at once. Okay, I just got a silver trophy. I'm assuming it's returning back to Baghdad. We should keep moving. I would like to look around first, if I may. Baghdad and its surroundings call to me. Very well, but do not be long. There will be much to do once we reach Harbiya. Look for a lattice-covered courtyard near Shara's mosque. That is where Noor was gathering his information. That is where we will be. Mm. Okay, dokey. So let's just see now, where does my heart take me? Where I am on my map. So we were here, and now we're over here, and we're heading for that location there. Okay, so we got another skill. I feel like that would be quite useful with uh, the eagle and then we got the order of the ancients there oh that is gonna bug me uh, oh god I got hiccups outfits okay Offers a few unique perks. These help you to be more stealthy in accordance with the values of the hidden ones. Customization. Equipping a costume allows you to be customized bathrooms look according to your preference. A costume alters how you your currently equipped outfit looks but doesn't change its perks. So, 50% less nice during assassinations, and we can do it like 75% or when we upgrade it. Uh, okay, plus 50% damage, and then probably more as you upgrade it. And then. The, the same with. Well, 25%, and probably more as you upgrade it. Okay. So. 
I think what we'll do that that's that seems to be a perfect place to um, to leave it. Um, I believe there is there are trophies to um, there's a trophy to collect all the collectibles and I think like surrounding stuff around it. So like you can see this historical sites and mysterious shards. I think you got I think you have to collect them all for trophies. Like I said, have a look at our trophy guides. Like I said, I've not played this all that much. The collaborative partner has uh, been doing the trophy guides. They're, they're quite far into the game, so uh, and they've got a lot of these collectibles. So um, like I said, they're coming out um, on the channel uh, more and more. But if we have a little look, see. Okay, so there seems to be, I think that's as much as we can go. So there's the wilderness. Abbey, Abbasaya, Harabaya, Kark, and then the wilderness again. So I'm guessing all this on the outside is the wilderness, and as we go inwards, and then we got the round city. Suggested rank assassin. Suggested rank initiate, suggest uh, initiate, apprentice, apprentice, assassin. Okay. But yeah, that's where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the bell icon for future video updates like this. And I shall see you all later. Bye bye.